Hey guys, Alex with ARC Power Washing this morning. Uh, I got a nice typical painted house that we're going to be washing today. Just kind of wanted to go through how I do it um, as far as getting it clean. A couple of things I always look for if there's a mulch bed. I always check for artillery fungus, which is this black area here. This stuff doesn't come off, so it's not going to come off, but uh, the siding is going to be much cleaner. Now, always remember when doing a painted house, I personally start from the bottom and work my way up. So you can sing you a nice little song, you know, start it from the bottom, now we're here, and you just, you just bring, work your way all the way up, you know, making sure everything is covered. And the reason we start from the bottom and go up on a painted surface is due to streaking. We don't want to do any streaking. Now, kind of with it being a, a, a cloudy, overcast day, we're not going to get much streaking from it, but, uh, as you see downstreaming with the appropriate tips you can actually go all the way up with just a fan tip um, you can just come all the way up to the top on this house uh, customer declined gutter cleaning and service so we're not going to worry about scrubbing those they didn't want to get it done but they do still get washed rinse spray down do the same thing come over hit the foundation come all the way up around the tree just move for a better surface or a better area of coverage do the foundation again start from the bottom work your way all the way up so our house wash solution mix contains uh, three gallons of sodium hypochlorite two gallons of water. We also run an industrial surfactant as well as right now we're using uh, in this batch the Eliminator. I'm a big fan of both the Eliminator as well as uh, Press Wash but in this batch we just happen to use the Eliminator. So, so what I'll do from here just real quick I'll come back take a look everything seems to be working well hit this crawl space door one more time come back up try to hit those soffits just a little more and the fascia board right up under the gutter i'll just keep coming across keep coming across and i keep coming across come down here that side's treated not much here but we still do the same thing we start at the bottom Make sure we get as much saturated as we can on this window, this pane like here. I'll just actually come from the bottom up, like so. Same thing on this side, like so. And then here, we'll just come all the way up. Get the brick. We, we personally like to wash the brick as well. Now you might say, oh, you didn't rinse your plants before you started. No, it's just, uh, it rained early this morning. Actually, about two hours ago it rained. So they're definitely well saturated, but they will get a final rinsing. So, with that, and then with the brick, it doesn't matter much if you start from the bottom and work your way up, but the brick gets going all the way up to the top as well. Like so take a step back make sure we covered all our feet our parts for cleaning so I want to re retreat that fascia right under the gutter so we'll just come directly up underneath like so put a nice treatment on it These underhangs here, these eaves, these are always fun. So the way I personally do these eaves is I start on the inside of it, like so. And then here, just real quick on the door, come around the frame, nice treat. 
and then start from the bottom, work my way up. There's banisters and railings, always get cleaned in the house for us. Always go around. This front stoop will get washed. I never try to shoot directly into the vents, so we'll just kind of let it, them do what they do and get rained on. Of course, saturate brick. Make sure brick's getting washed as well. All right, so it's been about five minutes, and what I'll actually do is I'll start the rinse process now. So anytime you downstream, you always have chemical left in your line. So uh, usually we have about 13 to 16 seconds of just chemical left when rinsing. So you gotta retreat, kind of retreat with that in line if you absolutely have to do some retreating. Got a couple of spots. So now when you rinse, you rinse from the top down. As you see the soffit fascia area is cleaned up well on the rinse side of everything. So you start from the top, get the gutter areas clean, and then just start rinsing down. Like so. I could have used the fan tip, but stand back a good little, little bit, start coming all the way down. Make sure the windows get well rinsed. Never rinse the edges of the windows. Always rinse just the middle in a circular motion. That's how I like to do it. Just because it keeps water from entering through the seal. So if you just rinse the middle and just allow the splashing, you're good to go. So see just the middle of the window, middle of the window, middle of the window, middle of the window. That's all you want to pretty much do. I did the other side of that dormer. Yeah. By accident. Okay. Did I do this side? Or no. So again, rinse down, rinse down, just keep coming, just keep them nice and rinse, kind of see the discolored water coming down, keep coming, keep coming all the way down. Now, this side is done, it's rinsed, ready to roll. Let's just go ahead and get all the bushes rinsed down. Go ahead and get them. Get them uh, rinsed out just to make sure that uh, there's not going to be any damage done to the plants themselves. Rinse, rinse, rinse. We actually got a hose and an azalea, so we'll correct that feature. 
get that off of there. And this side's done. Come around to the same. With this house here. We'll start from the top, work our way down. We'll make sure we rinse all the brick as well. Then the customer opted not to have the gutters clean, so that is a service that we're not providing for them. We did have a request from the customer not to wash uh, the new screened in porch edition because they had it re-screened, and um, he just asked us not to wash it. So uh, we did not wash that area, which that's on the back of the house. That was the conversation earlier with my uh, lead tech, Darius. Uh, so we did not wash the back of that house, or the back of that uh, screen section, uh, just per the customer request. So I come through, just continue to rinse, continue to rinse, like so, all the way down. Same thing here, start at the top. Rinse the brick down continually. Just a nice, nice run gets going. And that's good. Now this this section's rinsed. Come back. Check our flowers, get all those rinsed down really well. A little spot right there we got to get a little cobweb sometimes cobwebs can be a pain if you can't get to them get you a cobweb brush just get that stuff pulled up off of there or brushed out you can do it at the beginning you can do it at the end you can do it in the middle sometimes they're just a bugger so of course we're cleaning the home so we want to make sure that they're off of there as you see it's cleaned up nice ready for a nice rinse on this set I'll actually use my uh, rinsing tips kind of get a lot of the heavier stuff down like so like that and then to start coming down. You notice I haven't washed out the door yet. There's a reason for it. Because we want to use the fan tip. So just real briefly, in the middle of the door, let it drain, and then one thing I always, always, always do is open the door. I'll leave it open. And we'll rinse the inside, rinse the threshold, rinse that down, and then that's good to go. Here, gotta rinse the brick again. And I think I just forgot to rinse the top, so we'll go back and rinse the top. The upper areas, I'm going to have to retreat these banisters again. I didn't do a good job at it, so I'm not even going to continue to rinse them. But I got to retreat those banisters. Come back up. Start washing the top. Bring it all the way down. Top to bottom. There we get all the brick rinsed off as well too. Still. Top to bottom. Alright, now 
We didn't soap this side yet. So this is the next side that we're gonna be washing. And then we're gonna wrap up the house. That'll be the end of the house. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I know it might be a little bit boring, but kind of let you see the process that I use and how it works. Um, one thing I, I do like to do, we started wearing nice black, thick rubber gloves. These help really well. As you see, house before was, was dirty. Now it's clean. That's why our slogan's from green to clean. You know? We have that desire of taking your house and making it clean. When we come back, we'll retreat all these areas again that need to be treated, which were the rails. So same concept. Start from the bottom. Work your way up. About 10 to 13 seconds to pull chemical through. How oh, I started away. And uh, it should start coming through here shortly. And there it is. In the garage. <coughs> this is not a painted surface. It is an aluminum surface. But uh, come through here. Like so. Come up here, and soft it, fascia. Come across the top. Put a nice coat on there. Nice coat on there. Come across the bottom. Since it is brick, we can start at the top. We can start at the bottom with brick. So, that going there. about uh, 50 some odd degrees outside right now so uh, our cleaners actually working really well still so that's a plus so again I am just using uh, eight gallon a minute downstreaming method of cleaning so you can see with just with the fan you can reach the top very 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 low pressure not gonna stick my hand in front of it because I don't like doing that. And these panes here, start from the top, work our way 